Hi guys, welcome to the cheap amateur subwoofer install. If you're super cheap like me, then look at this right here, $125 US or $162 Canadian pile subwoofer amplifier and wiring kit. Super inexpensive subwoofer. So is the pile a pile of crap or a pile of roses? Let's do the unbox and install and find out. Here on the Pile website, the exact same subwoofer is listed at $99.99. On Amazon, it was $41.83, so that's about 60% off. So I placed the order on Friday evening, and I got the package by Sunday afternoon. That's like within a couple days. I never got a chance to see who delivered it, but I'm guessing that the guy had a really fast truck because he got here quick. Amplifier says it's 2000 watts, but it's probably more like 300. And uh, the subwoofer says a, a thousand. I'm guessing that's about uh, maybe 150 or 200 watts RMS. And uh, the wiring kit is an eight gauge. Came with instructions. So I glued and screwed everything together. And I'm using a sealed enclosure because it's just going to be far more reliable this way. And uh, if I use the ported box, then I'd probably end up blowing the subwoofer because uh, inexpensive subwoofers get blown easy in ported boxes. Subwoofer itself has a resistance of 4 ohms and I ran it in parallel, dropping it down to 2 ohms. Just right like that and I tried my best to solder the connections wherever I could because I don't want to open up the box again. Here's how I wired the fuse. I went through the quarter panel rather than the firewall. Down along here and then back to the amp. And then ran the remote wire with the RCA wire through the center console. And uh, I had a switch lying around the house. I put to the remote wire so I could turn the amp on and off. Back of the deck there was a blue and white wire the remote went to. The rest of the wires here, uh, I bridged the speaker wire since I only have the one 10 inch subwoofer. There's the remote power ground and I'm not too sure about the gain settings for this particular setup yet so I just left everything at pretty much its lowest point and I'm going to come back and fine tune it later. It's just a cheap 10 inch puny subwoofer but uh, it's loud enough to upset the neighbors so I had to drive a little bit to find a spot where I can test it out. There's a abandoned building up here with the windows all boarded up and I'm pretty sure nobody's living inside there other than maybe some squatters and homeless people so let's wake them up. But before I try to wake up the homeless I gotta thank Trap Woofer. You can find him on Facebook and right here on YouTube. Trap Woofer, he's got the best free to use music. You could play it on your videos. So thank you Trap Woofer. Subscribe. Thank you guys, and I'm going to leave you with Trap Woofer 20 Hertz.